the week is rough fleabane. Also it could be known as daisy fleabane, and, and this is one of the things, there are quite a few different fleabanes out there, and some of these names can get a little bit tricky, so as you're identifying these weeds, make sure you figure out what you've got, because like for example, this rough fleabane, it's just an annual weed. So it's not a perennial, it's nothing that you have to get too concerned about, but here's the problem, and here's where we get people that are saying, oh man, you gotta give me something for this rough fleabane, because Roundup isn't working, and it seems like, oh no, if Roundup doesn't work, nothing's <laughs> gonna control it. I know, but we have all kinds of herbicides that will stop this weed. Quite often, we'll see it out in pastures. Well, you can get it under control with 2,4-D, dicamba. I like distinct, that's my favorite thing. Even Tordon, Milestone, they aren't terrible on this weed. So I, I'm not that worried about it. We've got plenty of options, even in soybeans, where you say, oh, Roundup doesn't kill it anymore. So what? Liberty does, Extend does. Uh, once Enlist crops come out, well, that 2,4-D is going to control it. So we do have options there. We're looking at the pre-emerge options. You do have a pretty good sized taproot if you let this rough flea bane get big. You can do some tillage, you can use the three pre's on soybeans and they would be effective. Yep, in wheat I'd go sharpen down. Post-emerge I'd do husky, it's not going to be fantastic but it's pretty decent. And then in corn I'd probably start with verdict and follow up with status. That's all the time we have for this week's weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next.